folks, my next guest is an actress you know from ER, The West Wing, and CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. She now stars in CSI Vegas. Morning. How are you feeling today? Out to sea, which is where we should be. I have my meeting with Nora Cross in an hour. You have any tips? She likes apples. Holds her cards very close to the vest. Wouldn't even show me the methodology that Hodges supposedly used to replicate DNA in 2006. Well, I wish I had more time in that storage space. Maybe we would know something about the guy behind this. Well, Hodges will learn more at Discovery. His attorney will get to see everything they got. Uh, well, that's going to be too late. Discovery is weeks away. If we're going to figure out which one of these guys framed Hodges before trial, we have to pick up the pace. That woman is already suspicious of why we're even here. Have some faith. You know how persuasive I can be. Please welcome Georgia Fox. We might be. We might I, be in heaven. I might be in heaven. I really Those might be in heaven. Those women in this audience. I think that might be the two clues. <laughs> um, so nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's a thrill. I, I haven't been in New York in two years. Oh wow! Welcome I'm back. a New Yorker, and I'm Welcome back. back. And it's, Welcome back. It feels it's magic. So you were on CSI for 15 years, and uh, you're back for a 10 episode run it looks like yes for the first time in 6 years yes what's it like to step back into your character of Sarah Seidel after that period of time because i'm sure at a certain point you went i'm hanging up my spurs oh yeah we thought we were done 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 you know mm -hmm. we had this amazing run we had a, a, a finale. So many network shows mm -hmm. don't even get, mm -hmm. you know, endings. We and got that was an the ending. original CSI that yeah. they created the entire thing. They created this thing. And then, the, you know, Gil Grissom and Sarah Seidel, like, literally sailed off into the sunset. It was, mm -hmm. like, such a great way to go out. And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, the book is closed. That's it. And I was completely surprised and floored. I thought fans had moved on, audiences. I'm like, who's, no one wants to see the CSI stuff anymore, right? Right? <laughs> uh, and then we got a call, and, and here we are. And it, it was sort of conceived as a 20th anniversary special. We couldn't shoot it, obviously, mm -hmm. because of COVID. And it evolved. Mm -hmm. And now it's CSI Vegas. Now, do you, do you actually shoot CSI Vegas in Vegas? Sometimes. Sometimes. Not for super long periods of time. Okay. Because things happen in Vegas. That As should stay in yeah. Vegas. Yeah, that should absolutely. It. Exactly. But, <laughs> but it's also a very busy city. Yeah, it's very and it hard doesn't to be, stop. It's hard shooting. to be like low key there. Yeah, and they do not. It's not like you sort of close things down and you shoot. You sort of shoot in the midst of Vegas. You know, right. the casinos stay open. Mm -hmm. People are drinking. They're gambling. Now, after all those years of being, you're a, you're a, are you a forensic pathologist? Is that what your character? What's the name of it? I am so much smarter on the show than I am in real life. Uh, <laughs> I'm yes. a forensic scientist. Forensic scientist. Okay, so after all those years of doing and having to deal with that jargon and understand what your character is saying, mm -hmm. do you think you could have any chance at actually trying to solve a crime, or barring that, <laughs> do you think you could get away with murder? <laughs> well, you know, when the show started in 2000, mm -hmm. right, it, the science was absolutely cutting edge. You know, every day there was new science coming out, and, and you could determine without any shadow of doubt whether something happened or it didn't happen. And 21 years ago, I said, you know, you can't get away with anything. Like, it's not even worth it. And now, 21 years later, the advancements in the last five years make what we did in 2000 seem, you know, elementary. So, mm -hmm. no, I don't think that anyone could ever get away with anything. I don't even think they should try, actually. And I, I actually, really? I think they should try. <laughs> Where do I find the courage? I also wish that we actually didn't even have a show, right? That we didn't have these stories. Like, I, you know, we lived in a peaceful world. We wouldn't have these amazing stories to tell. But, but it's but such we a don't. good show. Exactly. It's almost worth exactly. having the crime at this it point. Is. And, and it's really so fun, fun to try and solve them. We both work for CBS. Don't kill this. <laughs> You're a good lead in. <laughs> Um, you and I both attended the White House Correspondents' Dinner uh, at, at various times. I think you were there last there in 2000, 2000 I heard. 2000 with the West Wing. I was there in 2004 for the first time. A, did you, like, what was the night like? Did you enjoy it? It was, I, it was definitely my Cinderella moment, there's no question. Like, mm. I, come, I came from a very small town. I didn't go to college. 
I never imagined in my life, first of all, that I'd actually even be here right now, but, but certainly that I would end up in D.C. At, a, at this dinner for journalists for the President of the United States. And it came up kind of last minute. The entire cast of West Wing was there shooting the series finale. Sure. And we got calls, like literally, like, you're going to go to the ball. And I brought jeans and boots and sneakers, and so costumes, like, they flew in all these gowns for us to wear. Oh, and wow. It was magic. It was just magic. Jay Leno hosted yeah. And, uh, and it was the year, you may remember, that uh, Bill Clinton, President Bill Clinton made this sort of docu mockumentary of it, about his last days in office, which was really funny. Did you guys do any sh sightseeing around Washington? Oh, yes, we did. And uh, there, actually one day, because we were stationed, you know, I was playing the Secret Service agent to the President's daughter. Sure. Um, so I spent some time with the Secret Service, amazing people. And, and we were shooting very close to the White House, you know, in several days. One afternoon, uh, Bradley Whitford, who's on the show, phenomenal man. Sure, Josh Lyman. Uh, yes, and yes. And, you know, he got some late dialogue. Aaron Sorkin sometimes has great ideas at the last minute. Long monologues. Yeah, like six pages. He was outside the White House, and he was in his suit, but he loosened his tie, he took his jacket off, he was running his lines, as we do sometimes. We talk to ourselves, we are emoting, we're moving it, we're putting it into movement. And the Secret Service totally just descended on him and took him in. They thought he was a madman. And... <laughs> They let him go. Huh. They, yeah, they, they let him go. Did Aaron Sorkin have to go in yeah. and spring him? <laughs> they, they figured it out pretty quickly that there had been a mistake, but they were doing their job. Thank God they were keeping the White House safe. All right. Uh, this, is the, this is the essential question here because, again, these are, the, there are two great CBS crime solving franchises here. There's, uh -oh. there's, there's uh, uh, CSI okay. and there's NCIS. Uh huh. If those two, <laughs> I'm here, this is a if, if you CSI people fought the NCIS people, uh -huh. who would win? Well, as much as I would like to say that CSI would win, you know, we don't carry guns. We have magnifying glasses. Sure. We, we you know, we're flawed heroes that sure. solve crimes with our, our minds and our hearts, and they totally kick our butts. Just, they have, they have LL flag, Cool J. Yeah, they, they do. They have flak jackets and big guns, real big guns. Mm -hmm. Can you answer this? Why is there so much naval crime? Do you know why? Is it's, there naval crime investigative service? Or like, why is there so much naval crime I, you know, in Los Angeles? Yeah, I've, I've asked no myself that question. No one can answer question. that question yeah. for me. Yeah, there, yeah, there's a lot of crime there. Yeah. Georgia, it was so lovely to have you here. Thank, thank, you, thank you so for much being for here. having me. Thank you. Thank you. CSI Vegas airs Wednesdays at 10 on CBS and is streaming on Paramount Plus. It's Georgia Fox, everybody.